Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to Podcastage 2, the channel where I test out stuff that I think is too dull and repetitive to go on the main channel. Today, I will be reviewing this, the EC Technology Aluminum USB Sound Card. So here's a quick view of the sound card. It does have an aluminum body, but all the ports are plastic, and it has plastic at either end of the USB sound card. I did test my headphones on this USB sound card and then tested my headphones by plugging directly into the computer. And in all honesty, I could not really tell a difference between the performance on either the sound card or the computer. So I think if you're using this for headphones, you will be fine. Here is a quick shot of the voltage test. And as you can tell, it's getting around 2.95 volts. So around three volts going to the microphone when we plug directly into the USB sound card. Okay, now you can see my sound preferences. Right now, my input gain is set at 100%. I will drop it to 0% and slowly increase it so you can hear what kind of background noise this sound card generates. Okay, now I've plugged the microphone into a phantom power supply and then the phantom power supply into the sound card. And you can now tell that my input gain is set at around 30%, maybe 35%. Um, so this will perform much better if you add a phantom power supply. It'll help eliminate some of the background noise. Now I am plugged into the Pile PD Mic 58, which is a dynamic microphone compared to to an electric condenser microphone, which I've been using for the rest of this video. And I just wanted to show you what it sounds like when I am plugged directly into the sound card with a dynamic microphone. Um, for this, my microphone input gain is still set at 100%, so it still is a relatively uh, low volume sound card. So in conclusion, it's a decent sound card. I don't think it's sufficient to work with an electric condenser microphone alone. I think if you are going to use something like the NW800, NW700, or any other electric condenser microphone, I think you should and probably need to invest in an external phantom power supply. So I'll link that in the video description as well. For a dynamic microphone, it does work, but you still have to set your gain at 100% to get a decent volume, so you're still going to be battling with the background noise. So honestly, I don't think this is going to be a sound card you're going to want to use unless you're getting a phantom power supply for an electric condenser microphone. And I can't recommend it if you're just going to be using it with a dynamic microphone. I think you would be better off buying a XLR to USB cable for the dynamic microphone. All right. Well, that will do it. If you found this helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, thumbs down. If you have any more questions or you want me to test any microphones out on this sound card, leave the requests in the comments. Um, I will link the USB sound card and the phantom power supply in the video description down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the logo in the corner. And don't forget to subscribe to the main channel, which is just youtube.com slash podcastage. All right, guys, I'll see you all later. Bye.